The first person ever cured of HIV is in Seattle today, meeting with scientists at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. They're in the midst of a $20 million project to defeat HIV for good, working to recreate this cure for others. Come with us, Denise Whitaker explains. I didn't think it was possible that a cure was was going to happen, but it, it has happened. Timothy Ray Brown grew up in Seattle, then moved overseas. This is where in 1995 he was diagnosed as HIV positive. He popped 14 pills a day to stay alive. I could take the medication and could live a fairly normal life. But then Brown was diagnosed with leukemia. Living in Berlin at the time, he went through chemotherapy, but it failed to eradicate his cancer. In 2007, he needed a stem cell transplant. His doctor found hundreds of possible matches, but only one who possessed the mutated gene resistant to HIV. So it was kind of weird to hear that a defect was going to cure me of HIV, and it actually did. It's completely gone from my body. Uh, I've been poked and prodded from head to toe. Brown is now sterile from HIV and back in Seattle, involved in a symposium. Scientists here at the Hutchinson Center say they're thrilled to actually meet with Timothy Ray Brown and learn more about what caused his cure and build on it to find a cure for others. He really sparked a new direction in the HIV field. Dr. Hans-Peter Kim says it's close to a miracle that one person with that mutated <laughs> gene matched him as a donor. And there's really only about 1% uh, or less than 1% of people with such a unique genetic variation. So now at the Hutchinson Center where these transplants were pioneered, scientists search for a cure for millions with HIV. Now one of the things we obviously want to uh, do now is see whether we can take patients' own marrow cells and make them resistant to HIV. And, and this is some of the work we do here in, in, in my laboratory. The cure for HIV is inevitable. It's going to happen. In Seattle, Denise Whitaker, Como 4 News.